This is the Expansus USA look at the Nokia E71. It's the newest of the business E-Class series from Nokia. We're going to start by going ahead and just taking a look at the actual device itself. Um, first, taking a look at the front of the screen, you'll notice up in the top right hand corner that there is a video conferencing camera. It's a VGA output camera. It's become pretty standard on business devices these days. Um, and then up here we do have the speaker for when you're on phone calls um, for listening to those. Looking down at the actual screen, we have a 2.36 inch screen. I'll go ahead and just push a button here and turn that screen on. You can see that it's, it's a pretty bright screen. It outputs 16 million colors and it is QVGA. Uh, below the screen we have here our menu button on the blue here. That'll bring us into our standard menu. Next to that I can hit the home key here which will bring us back into this Symbian based uh, home screen. Next to that we have our calendar function. You can push that and access your calendar. Followed by your typical D-pad which will allow me to move through our menus. Next to that, I'm going to go ahead and push this button and that's actually going to bring us into our contacts list. And then I'll hit home again to move back. And finally we have our email and messaging button there. So that's just a quick look at some of the shortcut keys. Below that you'll notice that even on the smaller device there is a five row, um, or sorry rather a four row QWERTY keypad. Um, basic standard keypad. We do have a function key down here which is used for unlocking the device as well as some of the other functions um, on the actual keypad itself. So I'm going to go ahead and back out of there. With the soft keys aside from the menu we also do have our camera button which you can push, push right there. The camera button will actually bring you into the camera which is 3.2 megapixels and I'll show you that in a moment. Um, so that's basically the front of the device. Looking over at the side here, there's a couple options available. First, we do have a micro SDHC card, expandable right now up to 8 gigabytes. And then aside from that, we also have our USB connector, which also works for data syncing um, and charging of the device as well. And then up here, we do actually have an IRDA port, which you don't really see on a lot of devices these days. So that's just a quick look at the uh, left side of the device. Up at the top here, we do have um, another one of the speaker outputs, and then um, aside from the speaker output, we also have the power button. I'll turn that over real quick. Pushing the power button will bring you to your switch off, your lock keypad, your normal, your silent, your, me silent, your meeting, and your outdoor. And if I go ahead and lock this real quick, with the keypad locked, in order to unlock it, you have to push the unlock button right there, and then the function key down at the bottom, and that'll actually unlock the device. It's good to make sure you don't make calls you don't want to make. Um, aside from that, over on the right hand side here, we do have a headphone jack, which is great if you like to listen to music. It's a 2.5 millimeter um, jack. And then below that we have just our, our basic volume rocker buttons here, along with the voice tag button. And the voice tag button, if you hold that down, you can say any voice tags that you may have stored for voice access on the device. Um, down on the bottom we can see that it's uh, pretty plain as far as the device goes. But then on the back here, we do have a 3.2 megapixel camera that I was talking about before. It does have a self-portrait mirror for taking pictures, and it does have that uh, flash on it as well, which can also be used in flashlight mode. The actual device that we're looking at here is the uh, black version of the device. You can see that it has a pretty nice chromed out finish. It's a very solid build. Um, it's actually one of the better builds that I've seen on Nokia devices, or really on any device for that matter, in quite a while. Um, Underneath the back here, we actually have the battery that's also a 1500 milliamp battery, which is excellent on a device, especially such a small, compact device. You're really going to get a lot of battery life out of that. Um, the unit itself does feature, as you can see through these menus here, the Symbian S60 3.1 edition. Um, it also features quad band GSM capabilities, and it runs on the um, 3G networks, and they will work 3G here in the US, which is a nice feature. One last thing, the phone also features FOTA, which is over-the-air firmware programming, so if any updates need to be made, you can actually make them right over the air, which uh, is a lot more convenient than downloading the application. So that's just a quick look at the device. If you want to find out more information, feel free to visit us at expansus-usa.com. Again, that's expansus-usa.com. We have the E71 as well as the rest of the Nokia E-Series and the N-Series as well uh, posted on our site with pricing, videos, and some other reviews from other contributors. Cut.